Willie and I are out fishing South Sound, Puget Sound for resident coho salmon. And I just hooked a fish. And uh, why don't you guys come along and join us for the day? Oh, jeepers, there it is, Willie. Oh, shoot. Doggone it. Oh. Doggone it. Oh, I know it. And there's he's out there again. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, there he is. Fish on, Willie. Oh, doggone it. I missed another one. Doggone it. I had him. <laughs> I just can't believe it. Oh, Rich. Well, Willie and I have been working this beach hard, and we're chasing fish down the beach. We finally get into them where they're in casting range, make a cast, bang, miss him. Make another cast, bang, miss him. Before we get to Willie's fly tying segment, let's talk a little bit about how to fish for these resident coho. Unlike the um, cutthroat, which are very territorial and you'll typically find them in the same places day after day after day, these coho, they can be up and down the beach. And the type of beach that you fish really doesn't matter, sandy, rocky, you just have to find the fish. Now if you're out in a boat, just cruise the shoreline, look for dimpling fish, look for jumping fish, be very stealthful. Don't just roar in on them with your motor. Just drift along with the current and cast to the rising fish. When you're walking the beach like this, make sure you're just you're walking along and always be aware. Look for a dimpling fish. Look for a rising fish. If you see that, get out of the water immediately. Run down the beach and start making casts because those fish are in little pods. They're cruising along with their bait fish. And, be, and you'll get a couple of fish once you find the jumpers. But I'll tell you what, as soon as you find them, you'll catch a couple of fish, and before you know it, they'll be back the other direction down the beach. So pay attention, um, and you're going to have a blast with these things. <laughs> nice. Come on, hang on. Woo. <laughs> oh, nice jump. Yes, air time. Nice fish. Willie? Yeah! Look at this fish. This is gorgeous. Oh, oh, right out. Hold down, buddy. Isn't that a big trout? Woo! All righty. <laughs> Rich is on one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is beautiful. Good job, Rich Peterson. Thank you. Ooh, look at this guy. Right in the jaw. Fantastic! <laughs> Nothing like fishing in the sound. Did this guy fly fish before? I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's like my brain shuts off and everything just falls apart. <laughs> you know, I'll tell you, I've been watching you. You've been, you've been pulling it out of your ear. And I just did. I just did. <laughs>
I'm surprised your fly didn't get hung on your butt that time. <laughs> Well, I do that stupid thing where I get it, I just throw it out in front and I do one of these little loop yeah. deals and I bring it right in over the top of my head. <laughs> uh huh. Okay, I gotta change the tape. Don't catch anything. Push on. Hurry up, Louis. Push on. Because, right <laughs> like I said, I thought the way he hit it, I knew that hook was set pretty good. But like you say, marvelous. When he ran at me, I couldn't keep up no, with him. And then you <laughs> drop your line a bit. Yeah. The only thing I know to do is turn and run for the beach. <laughs> yeah, and that's hard to do. Willie and I would like to take a brief time out and show you some of the favorite patterns we use catching these resident coho salmon. I think number one would be this uh, Clouser pattern with the, and it's tied with calf tail and a little bit of crystal flash. Make sure you put the white calf tail on top and the darker color on bottom. You can use brown, tangerine, olive, it doesn't matter. The key to tying this fly is you have your barbell on top and your white calf tail on top because when it hits the water it rolls over and then you have the white on bottom which simulates the belly of the fish. Then you can mix or match, you can use you can do, use just about anything. Just, mix, just uh, mix it up and invent your own flies, you'll catch fish. We also like using these little shrimp patterns but one of our favorite lately has been a euphosid. And a euphosid basically is a krill or a shrimp pattern and this is tied relatively simple, a touch of crystal flash, a little barbell eye, and arctic fox. I certainly hope that helps you catch some of these resident coho salmon. Come on fish, bite me. Come on baby, bite me. There, there it is, Wally. I got him, pal. Got him. Ha <laughs> dog. Oh, golly, I haven't met a fish I don't like. Oh, night fish. Nice trout. You gonna jump for me? <laughs> yeah, there you go. You jumping for me, baby? <laughs> oh, and it's a pretty one. Oh, it's a beauty. Yeah. Slow down now. Slow down. You're gonna get to go home. Slow down, baby. That's a guy. Oh, isn't that a gorgeous trout? <laughs>